Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome back to my flat. And I thought I would give you a quick tour of the place that I live. Can I show you what I've done with a really small London one bed rented flat? Like, you don't get a lot of your money here. This is my living room, this is probably my favourite space. When I first moved into this, I mean I had nothing here. I bought all the furniture in, there was white walls, I've added sort of pops of colour. You can see the wall behind me is a sort of grey colour that I've also used in the office. And then I've got these white colours. Again, I'll link the names, they're, they're both Dulux paints. But I wanted really complementary white against the grey and then with accenting of uh, the sort of mustard yellow. The sofa here is Ikea. Uh, I think Ikea really serves a purpose if you're on a budget. This is a sofa bed. And then I've got the pillows from, um, they're just Amazon. And then the covers, I've got H&M Home, which there's a lot of H&M Home in here. Uh, Debenhams. And then that one, again, is H&M Home, the big fluffy one. Then this sort of wall art, I've got the stag, which was from my mum. And then those pictures are from my pick. Again, you can see the black and the white. And then the, just the little bits of gold accenting which links in to the shelving area. I've really made a point in here of keeping all the wood, really dark brown walnut, just to tie it all back in. With the desk, which is from Amazon, Amazon was such a good find in terms of uh, furniture. Like, there's so much. And my bed, which you'll see too, was also from there. Uh, the seat is, again, that sort of 1970s design, which is Ikea. Everyone has got this one. You'll see this sort of animal interior that I've got. Um, and this is by a designer called Abigail Ahern for Debenhams. And I just, I absolutely love these, such a good find. This is probably one of the most comfy office chairs. Uh, this was made, I got this in the sale, made.com, which again, I think can be quite pricey, sometimes for what the things are, but they, they do look good. And, uh, oh this, this is my new vase. I'm calling her Monique, uh, she's from H&M. She's a tiger's head for flowers. There you go. And there's a, there's a lot of flowers actually, and a, a lot of the vases are from H&M. The cabinet is from, Ikea is part of the Stockholm collection, uh, and that's all walnut. The uh, vase is H&M, which I really like. All the candles too, like I've got so many candles in here. And this lighting, God, there's so much to tell you about. The lighting here, that's Debenhams. I find that Debenhams was such a great place for lighting. The kitchen for me is probably my least favorite room and the one that I think has quite a bit to go. I've also got this really great sliding shutter, which I'm a huge fan of here. Then the sort of usual stuff, I did paint this in olive green just to make it slightly lighter and brighter. It was white, but it just felt a bit boring. Coffee machine, which I can't live without. I absolutely love, uh, that is straight bean to cup, which is amazing. So, pop the beans on the top and then you can just make whatever coffee you want. The bathroom. Uh, again, I've just gone for this pewter grey, which is the colour we've got in the living room and also in the office. Uh, you'll see these little bulldogs, which are by Ben Delisi for Debenhams. Again, I think some of their sort of uh, their designer collections are really good. I'm not a huge dog fan, uh, but I thought these were cute. One for my toothbrush, and then another one for the toilet brush. And then a lot of my products, actually, the ones I'm sort of trialing, live in the office. But I've got the ones here that I'm either testing at the moment, or some of my favorites, around the bath and then up on the top. Then into my bedroom. This is the smallest room and really the one I've had to be the most creative with. Again, I've gone for this off-white uh, colour on the walls. And then with an accent wall, which is called Denim Drift. Again, I'll link that. Uh, just to kind of pick it up slightly, I'm such a blue fan. You'll see that in all my clothing, in the exposed wardrobe, which is from Wayfair. That was actually one of the best purchases I've had because it allowed me to buy that and then, I mean, I didn't do it myself. I got someone in to fit it perfectly into the space behind the door. Those chest of drawers across there are Amazon and again I just find that they were the, the perfect fit for in there. The vase is a white uh, version of the blue one from H&M and then all the little trays that I am, um, if you see my Instagram stories you'll see I always go on about my fragrance podium. That is H&M, uh, they're all collected in there and then I've got other various ones for watches and for my glasses and coins. The bed is Amazon, literally one of the best purchases. I think it was something like 200 pounds, which is a real snip for this uh, huge bed. Also, it's under bed storage, so it's an ottoman, which is amazing, I can fit so much in there. Then by my bed, this is side cabinet I've got, which is matching with the bed. I have got this new diffuser, which I 
I'm loving. Literally, water and a touch of lavender oil. Got it next to my bed. I put it on a timer for either three or six hours at night. And I'm out. It's so relaxing. You can change all the colours on it. And my blue baboon lamp, which was the first one I got from that Abigail Lahoun at Debenhams range. I love it. And I've taken it from my last flat into this. It's just, like, really ties in the whole room. Uh, and then the new wireless charger. I'm really new to this te technology. I'm normally a sort of plug-in guy, but this is perfect at night, you know, just for my phone to put down the side. I really shouldn't be sleeping my phone next to my bed, but I do use it as an alarm. Um, and then the alarm clock can be used as an alarm, funnily enough, but it's, um, it's really minimal. It's a great piece, and it was cheap. Again, Amazon, all linked. And that's really, like, my, my space, guys. Um, I think the next move for me will have to be I hope, buying somewhere, but that will be probably in like a thousand years time. But thank you very much for watching. I hope this has just given you either just a chance to be a bit nosy and see around where I, where I live, where I eat and where I sleep, or a bit of interior inspo. You can let me know in the comments if you have got any of the stuff you've seen or if you've got any little tips, maybe for my kitchen because it is so boring and I'll see what I can do. But again, all linked down below. If you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then hit subscribe right now the button is just there there's also more video suggestions down there stay with me and watch them my blog's there my instagram where i've got loads of my stories around this place and my podcast are up there but i'll see you in my next new video bye bye